today is absent. I'm Bill Dibble, Vice Chairman. So we'll first start off with the roll call. Mr. Healy. Mr. Dibble. Here. Mr. Decker. Here. Mr. Harris. Mr. Havey. Here. Mrs. Hopkins. Here. Mr. Crandall. Here. Five present. Okay, we have a quorum. Uh, first on the agenda is approval of minutes. Do we have somebody make a motion? Mr. Healy. Second. Mr. Decker. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Next we have JR from the Public Defender's Office. Welcome. Welcome. Good morning, everyone. There's usually the cards. There's no more cards. We don't use the cards. Evidently not. Oh, that's for 2022. The cards are gone. Okay, I was just getting used to them. <laughs> you still can, right? All right. Um. So monthly report numbers is up. That's. From COVID, so that's a good thing. Things are getting back to normal. I can tell you, at least in one uh, town court, uh, we were even able to go an additional night for a couple of months in order to get more arraignments done, in order to get more cases processed, and get more cases resolved. So, um, numbers is up, nothing um, out of the ordinary with that. Any questions as to that report? Evidently not. Thank you. All right. On to the big business, the request to fill. Um, based on my promotion to public defender, my position is vacant. I would like to uh, promote my third public defender to second public defender to take my spot. And then the on-call attorney, which is the fourth assistant public defender, will be promoted to the third uh, defender position. And so all that's already in the budget, no change in any of those numbers. Most of the positions are still highly funded by the state, but that would leave me able to fill the fourth assistant uh, position through hiring. And we could probably, if this is approved, get that out by the end of the year to try to get someone in um, starting next year or soon after. Thank you, sounds like a good move. It's been approved by the county administrator and the personnel office. We have a motion. So moved. Dave Decker, second. Mr. Healy. I mean, sorry, Mr. Havey. Motion on the floor. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. And I, I can just add to that. So if you look, this request to fill is a request for second assistant in all subsequent backfills. And as Mr. Carter explained, there will be a number of moves which will ultimately result with the the lowest paid position being filled from the outside, correct? Correct. And I want to thank Mr. Carter, who took the time to meet with myself and Mr. Budinger. We went over his plans for staffing, and he's got some excellent plans. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jay. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Next, we have uh, Jeff Lucky, who's not here. I think Bonnie might be here someplace. Bonnie is from the Emergency Management and Fire Director. Welcome. Good afternoon. Um, yes, Jeff is out at the Regional Fire Coordinators Conference today. Um, you have our monthly report. Um, just so you know, uh, one of the things on there is about meeting with the hospitals about the statuses of delay and diversion. We're working with Jones Memorial and the University of Rochester to come up with a when they're calling it, and we've been working with the 911 center to try to get our have gotten um, notifications out to the EMS providers so that they know when we're they're on diversion and delay, so that's the uh, they know when to take people to different hospitals or when they can go there and can expect a wait. So it's been a work in progress, and we're still working with them. Okay, um, also, uh, Jeff and four other. Fire investigators attended the fire arson investigation seminar, and that's annual training. They have to get 12 hours of training for their 
uh, fire investigation every year and they all completed that there the other ones did theirs online but they all went to Montour Falls to the fire academy any other questions from the question for committee okay anything else you want to expand on on the committee report I don't think so okay we have a couple of other things I believe yes we have some MOEs um, our first one in the packet is to accept um, the members for the SHREMS, the Southern Tier or Southwestern Regional EMS Council. We'd like to recommend or nominate Jessica Gaines and Paul Weaver. This is a three-year or three-year term, and it's for the regional EMS Council that meets every other month and goes over um, lawmaking things for the for the EMS and works directly with the state. Okay, thank you. Both good people. We have a motion? Mr. Decker? Oh, Mr. Mrs. Hopkins. I have a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carry. Thank you. The next one, there's a discussion on whether we need a, actually need an MOE for an extension. Yeah, I'll refer to the county minister on this. Yes, I believe we've been having some questions between um, the treasurer's office. I, we don't normally have these. Is that correct, Terry? That's correct. Bonnie, I guess my question is on that. Is the person or the agency granting the grant requiring a resolution? Because normally we would just let that go based on the date they extended it. I had sent it to Brenda asking her, and she said that to do it this way just to make sure. So I didn't. They are not requesting it, no. They're just but requesting they've given us. you an extension anyway. They just, need, they just need a signature on it, and that's what they're waiting on is a signature from somebody to sign on saying that we can have the extension or that, that, we, approve, that we approve it here or that we agree with it, you know, that, you, that the county will say okay. okay We've already got, they, they told us we can have it as long as we get the signature. All right, my second question on that is does that require a reappropriation or is this in the 2021 budget already? This is already because there's no account number on here. There's our it's actually already spent. We've already got the radio ordered and bought. It's just they had to extend it because it came in after the time. Okay, but then if that's all they request, then I think it's okay. I mean, we I we haven't had that before, so I was just okay. questioning that. Thank you. Chris, what do you think? Pass it or? Well, Terry, do you, do you want it acted on or not? Well, I think if the agency is asking for some kind of a resolution by the board allowing that extension, then I think someone's got to do something. So I think the board does have to do that in order for them to get the approval Signature. to apply for the reimbursement. Correct. It sounds like something we should proceed on for the 5169.38. You have a motion. Mr. Decker. Mr. Havey. Motion and second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. And the last one is for the SHSP grant, which is the um, grant between the Sheriff's Department and us together. And it has all of the numbers there for both agent or both departments. And we worked on this one last time, and we're bringing it back because it needed um, changes to the account numbers and everything is why we brought it back. Okay, thank you. Any comments from the county administrator? No, thank you. Okay, can we have a motion? Mr. Havey, second by Mr. Decker. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Carried. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. We have a monthly report from the uh, county attorney's office. Is anybody here present from the county oh. attorney? Uh, we have his figures in front of us. Report. If you have any questions, you can hold it in that office. Thank you. And next, we have. I, I think uh, there, there may be a misunderstanding that uh, the county attorney is not necessarily part of this, uh, but the district attorney is, is who I think you're looking for. Is that correct, Mr. Chairman? Well, he slept the the county district attorney. Yeah. And neither Mr. Slep nor Mr. Jones, who usually appears, is available today. I did hear from their office saying they weren't going to be here. So. Okay, we have the report, so if you have any questions, get in touch with them. 
Next we have Brian Perkins, top DBY coordinator. Brian. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, you do have my report. Uh, we did have a successful victim impact panel last month uh, back out at the county jail public safety facility. We had 21 participants. We can get comfortably probably up to 30 in there. So as things start to pick up, uh, as you know, we've had more arraignments, more things come in, we might have to look at, you know, the process of ex who's getting in first. Um, or looking at adding another date. So we are locked into kind of all these quarterly dates that we have, but if we needed to add another one in between those two somewhere to accommodate others, that's certainly easily done um, as long as the dates are available, you know, with the Sheriff's Department for the facility out there. Uh, we can get in after hours. There's no extra overtime. There's no extra anything involved for it. It's just me making myself available. So it should be easily done if we need to go that route. And uh, we're keeping an eye on that. Did have traffic safety board last uh, yesterday. We just had that meeting actually, and, and approved officers. I get to get to stay on as secretary on traffic safety board. We were looking at bylaws uh, and updating some of those, and, and looking at what we need to do there. And then, uh, other than that, December is National Impaired Driving Pre Prevention Month. Uh, so they've, over the years have kind of broadened the, the, the term that they're using on this month so that now it incorporates um, more than just drunk driving. It does include impaired driving by drugs and alcohol um, and anything else. So as the marijuana legislation is all coming closer to being fully fully up and running, you know, this is becoming more and more prevalent. And I've, I know I've seen some more arrests coming through, you know, in, in the notices on, on those as well. So we're going to try to cover everything. Unfortunately, I think it was determined that it's probably still not best to have a, a table full of cookies out in the hallway that everyone's digging through. So I do have, have something planned to be able to incorporate our, our cookies and wassail type thing and get everybody some information, but uh, we'll have to move from there and I will be getting the clerk uh, maybe before I leave today, <laughs> if not tomorrow morning, um, I'll get her uh, something for a proclamation for, for the next board meeting. Thank you. So. Any questions for, for Brian, for the committee? No question? Thank you. All right, thank you. Next okay. we have Bob Stark, probation director. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Do you have my monthly report in front of you? I was not in the office for a good part of November. That's why there are not nearly as many meetings as I normally attend. So in case anybody had a question about that. We do hope uh, tomorrow when we have our next youth court advisory board meeting that we'll be appointing our new uh, youth court coordinator. And if so, I'll report uh, back on that in, in January. So if there's any questions, that's really, I don't have much. Uh, any questions from the committee? Thank you, Mr. Stark. Okay, thank you. Next, we have a report from uh, Gilbert Green, Wage Measures Director. I don't see Brian in the crowd, so if you have any questions about his report, feel free to reach out to Brian. See, the bottom, he's looking for people to ride along, so if you want to go along, you're welcome to get in touch with Brian. With Gary, with uh, Gilbert Green. Yep, Gilbert's, Gilbert's here now. Oh, I think here. he could give his report. Where were you hiding at? I out there checking on the Democrats. I see you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> want to comment upon your report? So I got, got most everything done. Did a truck scale today, Mr. Bain. Say hi. <laughs> Other than that, just got a few <coughs> few places to finish up before the end of the year. Okay, thank you for the report. I know that they're just talking. Looking forward to pancakes and short track again. March. Coming March, yep. Coming up. Second weekend, second Wednesday in March. Are oh, here any more questions any, for Gilbert? None. Thank you. Okay. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. That too. 
Next on the agenda, we have Sheriff Rick Whitney. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I submitted my report if you have any questions. I would note that we did our beard for bucks again this year and then we raised uh, $1,750 for the Shop of the Cop Fund. Mr. Chair, oh. Don't you have a request to fill a position? Yes, I have a request to fill a position of a full-time corrections officer. Uh, we had one full-time corrections officer who resigned and wanted to go back to part-time, so we have an opening for a full-time officer. I see the county minister on my form has it signed off. Any comments, Chris? I did believe I did sign this. It's just my signature is not on the one that made it into the agenda. I think I signed it after it was added. So. Okay, thank you. <coughs> we have a reform for us for fulfill a position. Uh, is there a motion? Mr. Havey moves it, and Mr. Decker seconds. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Okay. Thank Merry you. Christmas. Next, we have a document from our board clerk, Brenda Rigby Riley. Brenda. These are to make the um, fire advisory board appointments at the request of that board. If, the, if we could have a motion approving those. We have a motion. Mr. Decker, second. Mr. Havey, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you, Brendan. And down at the bottom, we have our county minister coming on board, Chris and Knapp. Thank you. I, uh, I have signed in a memorandum of agreement, as the sheriff has, with our sheriff's association to add a new pay scale to our current contract. And this would be a pay scale for deputy sheriff sergeant. Um, and there is the memorandum of agreement is attached to this. This is something that we have discussed in the past of uh, differentiating correction sergeants from deputy sheriff sergeants, um, both by title and by pay. So um, I guess the, the memorandum of agreement is kind of self-explanatory. The new rates for deputy sergeant would be on the, the very last page. So I don't know if the sheriff has anything he wishes to say about that. Or, um, he could probably tell you what the difference is actually in duties between the two much better than I could. Sure. Uh, no, I don't really have anything to add other than I, I thank you. I think it's something that should have happened a while ago. Uh, the deputy sergeants do go through more training. Uh, they have to go through the actual, well, the, actually they've been through the Corrections Academy to be a CO, and then when they got promoted to deputy, they had to go through the, the police academy. So they've actually been through two academies. Uh, to get to where they are and they're also responsible for a lot of the things that go outside the, the office at the, on the road and stuff so they are they are a little more there's a little more to it than there is a correction sergeant so this is a this is a good thing and you have I believe four um, of the deputy sergeants yes. and five of the CO sergeants I think I'd have, I'm not sure. I know we have the four deputy sergeants. I'm not exactly sure how many okay. CO sergeants we have. Not, not a ton of them, though. No, there's not a lot, yes. no. Okay, so there's four people with this number of, with this number of, of agreement. I have a motion on this. Mr. Havey moves it. Mr. Decker seconds. All in favor? Wait a minute. Discussion? Sure. I have a question. Yes. Um, I just like to know. Um, I know that we're not in negotiations, you know, for another couple of years. But how does this affect um, what happens in terms of determining? Are the is that a category that's that's then um, negotiated separately from from others, or how does it how does it fit in? Uh, is what I'm asking, Sheriff. 
Or don't we I, I know think, yet? <laughs> I think what, what happens is the current contract is amended by adding this pay scale and right. also by changing the title of the current pay scale. Right now, there's just one pay scale that says sergeant that covers both. Right. The one that says sergeant now will say correction sergeant going forward. And then this will all be tied together in negotiations for future raises once we get to that point. The contract runs through 2024, I believe. So we'll be probably talking about that end of 2023, beginning of 2024. Right. So my question then is, um, is this then treated as a separate item um, during, during that process? No. No, it's all tied together. This is just something, this is a, a concept that we had discussed um, during the previous negotiations, but we weren't ready to tie it into the contract at that time. And we said we would continue to examine it after that contract was signed. And this is the result of looking at it. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Mr. Avey. I wonder if there's any appetite for uh, making this retroactive to back to the uh, uh, date of the contract. Anybody the date already? of the contract goes back to 2019. I, we had not oh, examined the back. consequences of doing that. Okay. That may be too far to go back. I wanted to raise the question because I think it's a valid question, but that may be too far to go. Thank you. If these people are part of that negotiating contract, I was thinking it might go back to where the ones that in the contract got to raise. Just a thought. Just a second. Uh, Mr. Chairman. Chairman yeah, I, I think that there's been... Uh, Certainly negotiations, this was part of, uh, you know, kicked around at that time, but uh, this is just a, a supplemental agreement that, that attaches to the current contract, and I don't think you want to tinker with uh, anything besides what's being presented here and uh, leave well enough alone and uh, appreciate the work that's been put into getting this agreement here today. I'd support it just as it is. Okay, thank you. We have a motion on the floor. Gary. I just have a quick question for the I have a quick question for uh, the sheriff. Um, I'm looking at the uh, population here for the uh, the month of November, or at least three quarters of the month, uh, averaging 65, 66. What's the t what's the total number that you have to to fill? Well, our 100 percent. Our, our capacity is 154, but because of, you know, uh, classifications and stuff, probably I would say maybe mid 140s would be about as many as we so could hold. Essentially, we're about less than half. A little less than half, yeah. yes. Now that includes all the pods. Right now, you're you're not you have one pod that you're not using. Is right. that correct? Right. Okay. So, the fact that we're at half. Uh, Capacity. Uh, what? How does that? How does that affect our your total number of uh, uh, officers? It doesn't really. I mean, at this point, we still have to, uh, under the state corrections, we have to have the amount of officers that we would need for the full capacity. I know it's being kicked around in the state to change that, but at this point, it has nothing's been done to change it. So, would that require a? Uh, Resolution from our board to the state to uh, to look into that more uh, thoroughly. Well, I believe the the county association, the association of counties, is looking into that now. It's already been brought up, but it's still being negotiated. I guess it was something that was brought up at our last sheriffs association meeting, and actually the chairman, the chairman of the state commission, was on on the uh, the call that day, and he was all ready to bring it up. And then he found out that there was probably 85 or 90% of the sheriffs were against it. He pulled it. He pulled it from the meeting and said he would have to look at it again. So, so at uh, a little under half capacity, um, are, are you keeping everybody busy? <laughs> yeah, we keep everybody busy. Yep. Okay. I mean, I mean, if it ever went through, I mean, I just, I can explain to you a little bit. If it ever went through, where let's say we, we have with the contract and everything, where we lay people, if we ever have the went through and we had to lay people off, 
you know, you never know if the next day, all of a sudden we got 10 more inmates, then how do you go about bringing people back that quick? You know, it's just. Well, I, I guess where I'm, com where I'm heading is that uh, uh, if we're less than half, uh, what is your projection and under today's no bail rules and so on and so forth of uh, where we'll be uh, over the ca uh, calendar year 2022 uh, as far as numbers that you can anticipate? Well, I don't have a crystal ball, so, but I mean, I, we're hoping that this no bail thing goes away a little bit. I mean, that's what we're pushing for, but who knows? Uh, you know, it could stay this way for a year. I, I personally think it's going to go back at some point and people are going to get fed up with it with these people that are getting arrested five or six times and being set free to do it again uh i think the people are going to get fed up with it and i think it's going to change but who knows i i can't tell you thank you any other questions for the sheriff while he's here okay i, I believe on. mr chairman you have a i think there's a motion on the floor is a motion here? on the floor yes with the uh, deputy sheriff sergeants any more questions on that motion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Carried. Thank you. Um, next, we have uh, old business. Any old business to bring up? Anybody? Mr. Mr. Vice Chairman of Public Safety, um, I would like to ask for an executive session for the medical, financial, credit, or employment history of a particular person or corporation or matters leading to the appointment, employment, promotion, demotion, discipline, suspension, dismissal, or removal of a particular person or corporation. Okay. What's on your new business or old business? I don't think it, it really matters. It could go under either. So we get rid of these two and have it for the good of the order. Okay. okay. Any old business, anybody? New business? Hearing none, we'll move on to uh, a motion for executive session for the county administrator, moved by Legislator Havey. Second by Legislator Decker. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, we're in executive session. See you folks in a minute. I